we have been working uh, basically uh, to provide uh, quality and inclusive education, as well as uh, leadership, health, entrepreneurship and financial literacy, uh, nutrition, food security is a very vital component of our programming, along with other interwoven programming that is essentially made uh, so that we can groom the leaders that we require to, con to transform not only their communities, but even Zambia. Um, there's a feeding program that has been running uh, now for about six years. And this feeding program, Paul, is very fundamental uh, because, as you would know, poverty is at very high levels in Zambia. And now, especially with uh, the drought situation that you have, you have found that there are very few households that have access to three meals in a day, and more especially in peri-urban and rural settings. And therefore, we felt that it was very important to enable those that were on our program to have access to nutritious meals. And every day we provide no less than 300 hot meals. We have over 750 uh, children um, as, as well as youth that are on our program. How do these uh, young people uh, come to you? Uh, do you uh, like go out uh, looking for them? We have um, a very well coordinated approach that is inclusive in the selection uh, process um, in terms of identifying uh, who it is um, that basically deserves uh, that kind of support. And uh, therefore, on a yearly basis, we undertake a membership visitation. This is a door-to-door -door exercise poll where we talk to the families to understand their needs, to understand their level of vulnerability, and be able to talk to the children themselves as well as the youth so that we know what level of intervention is required. And after carrying out this rigorous, uh, meticulous um, process in a very objective manner, we gather the data, we analyze it, and then based off that, we're able to identify who it is that is most in need. You talked about uh, 750 uh, young people. Uh, do you have like a community where they all come or you figure out how to help them at their various uh, uh, homes or, or places? Where they reside. Our main focus right now uh, has been to invest in the community of Kafue, and um, this is deliberate because we have wanted first to ensure that we are able to realize meaningful impact. We have been invested in Kafue now for 18 years, and uh, basically we cater to all the various communities that are within Kafue, and now even reaching the outlying areas um, uh, su such as uh, Chanyanya, for instance, um, just to ensure that our programming is much more accessible and much more inclusive. Uh, we do have plans over the long term, of course, to scale um, our programming so that it can reach the wider areas of this country.